the iconic country mm. tops hotel ever stayed there yeah absolutely when i was a kid beautiful place uh -huh. in yeri uh -huh. beautiful place i've never but uh, you know this is where queen elizabeth became queen yes yes that much i know okay, <laughs> okay. well the iconic treetops hotel that hosted the late queen elizabeth oh. has reopened its doors following a three-year closure occasioned by the covid 19 pandemic now the hotel one of the one of three in the Aberdeen National Park holds a significant history that ties Kenya to the British. As it is the place where, as Jeff just told us, the then Princess Elizabeth learned of her father's demise and her ascension to the throne. That's right. Now, the reopening was attended by high-level dignitaries, including Deputy President Rigathi Gashagwa, who called for a tone down of the political tensions in order to revive the tourism sector. Laura Otino has the details. A drive through the Aberdeen National Park winds up at a majestic open field overlooking a salt lake and a watering hole. After a three-year lull, the Treetops Lodge has reopened its doors, with it a promise to bolster Kenya's tourism subsector as well as the livelihoods of those within the larger Mount Kenya. In an elaborate event attended by, among others, Deputy President Rigathi Gashagwa, the British High Commissioner to Kenya, Neil Wigan as well as other dignitaries in the tourism sector. Calls were made to Kenyans to embrace local tourism and understand the rich heritage of the lodge. In terms of domestic tourism, I'm very happy. Myself, despite coming from this county, this was the first time last night for me to come and see the elephants. And I did not even know that the elephants and the rhino don't agree. I found the elephants were very rough with the rhino, but they were quite happy with the buffalo. Let the whole world come. And that will add our numbers. It will increase our foreign exchange earnings. Treetops is the oldest safari lodge in Kenya that was built in 1932 as a wildlife viewing station. The lodge carries with it deep ties between Kenya and the British monarchy, as this is where the late Queen Elizabeth II learned the news of her father's passing and her subsequent ascension to the throne as Queen of the United Kingdom and the Commonwealth realms. The Princess Elizabeth suit, where she was staying at the time, still carrying the same significance it did more than seven decades ago. Uh, and I was really delighted to see at the hotel uh, how you've preserved, how you've kept alive uh, the memories uh, of that special day uh, and how important it still is to Kenyans and how important it is to visitors. And I love the idea that people think that it, it brings luck, particularly to women, that they can also become queens when they come and visit here. Nyeri was a very important part of the Mount Kenya circuit previously. We are very keen on bringing that back so that people, as they travel, they take a stop in Nyeri, you reduce the distance that people have to travel and have each stop being two to three hours. Amid the pledge to support conservation efforts, the reopening of the Treetops Lodge signifies a new dawn in the tourism sector across the central region as well as the country at large as it looks to host both local and foreign tourists. Laura Otieno, Citizen TV.